So what actually makes a Moho character look clean, professional and easy to animate? Why do some designs just feel right while others look off even when you follow tutorials? And what are the beginner mistakes nobody talks about that silently ruin your characters? I've been there. I followed all the tutorials and my characters still felt flat. That's why in this video, I'm giving you five powerful tips. I wish someone had told me when I started. They are quick to apply simple to understand and once you start using them your characters won't just look better they will animate better too but here's something i hear all the time do you have to draw like a professional to design amazing characters in moho no you don't need a degree in art to make this work. In fact, some of the best rigs start with simple, even rough shapes. It's all about how you build them. And that's exactly what I will show you starting right now. Ever fix a color in Moho? only to realize your character is still a patchy mess that used to be me until I stopped using the eyedropper the real trick styles instead of editing each shape manually pros assign a style once and the whole design updates automatically In Moho, tiles control the fill color, stroke color, stroke width, brush settings and effects. Assign a style once and any change updates every linked shape automatically. It keeps your rigs clean, fast and easy to edit. The tiny mistake that wastes time. Making a whole new layer just for years that just makes things harder. Here's the fix. Use shape order to send the back air behind the head and liquid shapes to smooth the front air into the face. No extra layers just smart clean stacking let's put it all together
something that used to trip me up all the time. I would start drawing, then stop and wonder, what do I draw next? The eyes, the ears, should I add the hair now? It slowed me down and the designs felt messy and disconnected. So I made a rule, a simple drawing order I always follow now and it starts with the next two parts. The first time I tried drawing hair in Moho, I spent 15 minutes on five strands. Then I zoomed out and it looked like I let a child do it with a crayon. I almost quit but then I found the blob brush. Just sketch freely. No need to add points one by one or wrestle with the freehand tool. The blob brush turns your strokes into clean editable shapes way faster for wild strands, curls or stylized locks. Eyes are tricky. They look simple until things start moving. I drew the eyes, added the pupil, looked great. Then I nudged the layer and the pupil slid right off the eyeball like it was making a run for it. That's where masking saves the day. It's like putting a frame over your art. Only what's inside shows. Use it on the eyes and the pupil stays put no matter how much you move things around.
ever spend time perfectly drawing one eye then copy flip and nudge it into place on the other side looks fine until you need to make a change now you are stuck editing both every single time is there a better way there is reference layers they let you mirror one drawing to the other side and any edits update automatically you stay in sync no more double work But your character's design won't matter if it breaks the moment it moves. In the next video, I will show you the biggest rigging mistakes Moho users make and how to avoid them. Watch this next. Why everyone struggles with Moho bone tools and how to fix it.